Hello again, Janice L. Blake here. I'm showing you the different types of traps to do a feral cat trapping. So I just, in a previous video, I showed you this trap. Now I'm gonna show you this trap and tell you why. Do not get a trap like this. Okay, so what happens with this trap is the kitty cat goes down here in this, in this uh, door. You know, you, you set the trap like this, cat goes in there, steps on the plate, bam, you got it. So then if you want to take the cat out, you want to transfer the cat. It's got a nice door right here and you can transfer the cat into another carrier, wherever you want to do it. It's very convenient. And you also, you can get the food out very, very easily like this. Okay, so what happens with this kind of trap, this is called the have a heart trap and uh, they make a lot of traps, this company. I don't know why they can't do it right. But. So what you do is you lift up this little latch here, you push back this bar and the door comes up. There's a little lever over here attached to the plate. Can you see the plate? Okay, so you, you... Okay, you set, you set that. You gotta be careful because uh, it does that. But I have on top of this um, trap right here, it says slips. So I don't use this trap very much because it slips. And I set the trap and I come back and there's nothing in the trap, but it's closed because it slipped, the door closed. So I, I don't hardly ever use this trap. I mean, I never use this trap unless it's for transporting a cat. Okay, let's pretend this is staying open. So what happens is the cat goes in here, but now, you have no way of getting it out except for the front door. And then you hear you've got your hands all down here in front. And I mean, if you get a raccoon, you really don't want to put your hands that close to a raccoon's face or even a feral cat, you know, um, it's very, it's very bad. And I'll show you another way when I show you how to transfer, I'll show you why this is also very bad. Another reason it's bad is because when you go to put the, the bait in the food you know first of all you got to open up the door and hold it open and then you have to kind of be a baboon with a very long arm and kind of shove the food in the back which isn't the only bad part now after you get done with the cat and you get the cat out now you got to clean it and the food's back there and it's all over everything and maybe the cat went to the bathroom and you know you're in here trying to get the food out and you got to do like this little pop-up thing to get the food out so my point is don't buy a trap that doesn't have a door in the back all right thank you very much for watching my video check out the links below and i'll see you on the next one <laughs>